All right, hey guys, back at it again. We are gonna discuss my favorite topic, uh, which is writing. And you have finished your rough drafts on Little House in the Big Woods. Uh, you're discussing how the uh, Ingalls Wilder, Wilders are, are frugal, how they manage their resources well, how they're good stewards of what God has given them. Um, addressing your rough drafts, as we transition from the rough draft into a second draft, uh, there's some things I want you to think about, namely, namely proofreading. Proofreading is so, so important. And since you're at home, you have a fantastic opportunity to, to kind of practice my first recommendation. Uh, read your work out loud. Read your work aloud. This is a fantastic way to catch errors. If you find yourself stumbling over words, your word choice um, it was not good. If you find yourself struggling to read it, uh, you, maybe your, your spelling or your penmanship was not good. You can catch a lot of errors by reading your work out loud. Good writing sounds good. Uh, really, when you when you read that work out loud, it kind of gives you a, a little insight into what the reader is experiencing when they read your work. Read it out loud; you'll catch so many errors that way, uh, literally in in in, in uh, out loud in an out loud voice. Secondly, clarity. You don't want to assume that your reader knows exactly what you're talking about. You need to give them background. You need to kind of throw them a lifeline and help them along. Good writers are good explainers. So don't assume that your reader knows about this. Give them a little background on who the Laura Ingalls Wilders are. Explain things thoroughly. And that's where your vivid details come in. Remember, we don't want to tell the readers things. We want to show them things. Don't tell, show. Uh, thirdly, conventions. Or third, excuse me, conventions. Uh, these are, are just those common pitfalls that, that so many young writers um, fall into. It's the, the three ways that you can write there. Uh, the the two ways that you can write it's homophones go through and look at look for those things that um, you know are, are are we commonly make mistakes on so pay attention to those conventions look at the punctuation at the end of every sentence do you use proper punctuation uh, look and see if you've got a series of three things do you use a comma and pause when you're reading make sure make sure that you kind of read those pauses into the commas when you hit a comma pause and that can kind of um, help you help you see your punctuation or understand your punctuation better. So, uh, quick review: read your work out loud. Focus on clarity. Help make sure your reader can understand everything. Uh, follow conventions, uh, and then uh, fourthly, step away from your work. Uh, once you finish it, uh, take a step back. Uh, give it a half hour break. Give it an hour break, and come back to it. All writers do this by stepping away from your work. Um, you basically allow yourself to, to kind of uh, separate from it and then uh, re-engage with it kind of with a fresh set of eyes. And that gives you opportunity to, to, to find extra mistakes, to find maybe wording that should be different. And, um, and, and ultimately you'll end up with a, a, a well-edited rough draft, um, make your marks, and that'll, that'll lead into a good second draft. So let's focus on taking our time, doing our proofreading, and... Um, and, and getting that second draft done today. Um, good luck guys, do your best, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing the finished product.